Hi there. This is Manas Patnaik, your friend and tutor. And in today's class, we'll discuss trusses. All I want from your side is a basic understanding of resolving forces into components and a bit of trigonometry. Trusses are basically structures that carry loads. And we learn techniques that help us determine the forces in any member of a truss. Method of joints is a simple yet very effective way of calculating forces in these members. So let's start the session and let me guarantee you that after watching this video, you will have no doubts regarding method of joints. I'll even go to the extent of saying that you will become so confident that you will be able to solve numerous unsolved examples on your own. So good evening everyone and let's discuss one more problem from trusses and here we go. Observe it carefully. Doesn't it look as if this entire structure is symmetrical about a vertical axis passing through E? Okay, whatever structure you have over to this side, the same structure you have over to this side. Exact mirror images. Not just the structure, but the loadings as well. This loading and the 100 Newton over here are at equal distances. This is half of 1.5, that is 0 0.5. And even here, the distance is same. Right? So this is a, a wonderful symmetry and we should make the most out of it. Okay. So the first thing that we are going to do is, uh, we are going to simply remove these hinge and roller supports by appropriate reactions. Okay, now let us talk about calculating those reactions. The first equation of equilibrium that we'll apply is Fx0. If you watch carefully, only one horizontal force is there. So plus Ax equals to zero. That means Ax is zero, right? Secondly, we'll talk about Fy is equal to zero. Okay, Fy is equal to zero. Now, if you watch carefully, when you do Fy is equal to zero, this is positive. This is also positive upwards. These two are downwards. That's why negative. Let me write them down. Here we go. So you simply have this equation where you can say that so Ay plus Rd uh, is equal to 200. This is your equation, nothing else. There is one equation and there are two unknowns. So it cannot be solved further. Okay. Let's do the moment about A equal to zero. If you watch this Rd, multiplied by this perpendicular distance creates an anti-clockwise moment. That means it is going to be positive. So Rd multiplied by 3, 3 Rd. That's the first thing. Secondly, you've got this force of 100 Newtons. Okay. And if this is the force, this is the perpendicular distance, which is half of 1.5. Watch carefully. Half of 1.5 is 0 0.75. Yes, sir. Okay. So 100 multiplied by 0 0.75 in the clockwise sense, that means negative sign. Let me write it. Similarly, this 100 multiplied by this distance over here, this over here is 0 0.75. So 1.5 plus 0 0.75 will be 2.25. Same stuff, clockwise, negative sign. You just need to solve this equation to get the value of Rd. And once you put the value of Rd over here, you can get the value of Ay which eventually works out as 100 Newtons. So that's done. Okay, now as I told you in the first example, from the joints, draw the forces in the outward direction, something of this sort. Done. And since you can see all the sides are of the same length, even here, even here, that means it is an equilateral triangle. Even if you just do the math, let's say these angles are X. Some of these three angles, that is 3X will be equal to 180. So X is going to be equal to 60 degrees. Very, very basic math. Done, sir. Here we go. Where shall we start, sir? We can start from joint A. As we have to deal with only two unknown forces, that is FAB and FAE. This FAB will be equal to this FCD since the entire structure is symmetrical and this FAE will be eventually equal to FDE. Okay, for now. Okay, and when you calculate this FBE, that that FBE will be equal to this FCE. Right? And uh, we can calculate this FBC also considering either joint B or joint C. Okay, let's go ahead with joint A and uh, here we go. <coughs> So, so as we can see, let's, let's go for Fx0, Fy0. Okay. Okay. There is no specific rule, right? You can start with Fx0. You can start with Fy0, your choice. 
so basically you've got fae over here and fab's cost component will be over here so fab cost 60 and here we'll have fab sine component fab sine 60 so these two forces are towards the right hand side so let's me take that that's positive this force is upwards positive this is also upwards that is also positive let me write it summation of fy equals zero fab sin 60 plus 100 equals to zero done on solving this equation this is what you get the value of fp okay now let's go for summation fx equal to zero we have done fy equal to zero now let's go for fx is equal to zero so here you can see at joint a along the x direction there are two forces fae positive fab cos 60 again positive let me write them down okay very simple now you can simply plug in the value of fab this value over here and then you can solve for fae this is what you get 57.73 let me zoom in very easy okay let me erase all the stuff done so joint a completely analyzed we have got these two unknown forces fab and fae and since the entire structure and the loadings are symmetrical therefore we can say we also have got fcd and we also have got ft you can do a similar analysis for considering joint a okay but mark my words you are going to get the same answer go ahead and do it no problem right now let me switch to joint b now now if you just take a look at joint b there are as many as one two three unknown forces really three unknown forces or two only two the reason being very simple fab this value has already been calculated over here considering joint a right so no need to again i mean think of this as an unknown force you have the value but you need to put this negative value somewhere when you consider this joint b okay so the only unknowns are fbe fbc now let's apply the concept let's apply fx equal to zero again if you consider a joint b let me make joint b over here okay watch this is going to be interesting very interesting there is already a force of fbc yes sir this is fbc agreed sir and sir if you could just draw a horizontal line if this angle over here is 60 degrees this will also work out as 60 degrees i don't know what kind of a pair is this uh, alternate interior am i right or something else to let me know <laughs> so this is going to be 60 degrees and so this fab is making 60 degree angle with this horizontal so here we'll have the cost component fab cos 60 fab sine 60 let's let's very quickly do this this is going to be fab cos 60 done and this is going to be fab sine 60 okay thirdly any other force which is inclined yes you can clearly see that this fbe is at an angle of 60 degrees with this horizontal so fbe's cos component will be over here and sine component down right so fbe cos 60 let me write this uh, this is going to be fbe cos 60 and in this direction we have fbe sine 60 okay let's talk about the directions left negative right positive right positive down negative down negative so when you consider this equation of equilibrium fx what you have is basically just watch negative fab cos 60 positive fbc let me write this okay one more is left this one plus fbe cos 60 also plus fbe cos 60 plus fbc yes plus fbe cos 60 yes and now this one and minus fab cos 60 done so we have the value of fab we have this value yeah okay we can put it over here into this equation and then but still we are left with two unknowns let me let me rephrase this this is what we get okay so one equation and two unknowns cannot be solved but we can actually go for a summation fy equal to zero when you go for summation fy equal to zero you have to encounter two forces both of them downwards therefore negative negative fb sine 60 
नेगेटिव एफ ए बी साइन सिक्सटी एंड एनीथिंग एल्स ओके कंसिडरिंग ज्वाइंट बी देर इज ऑल्सो दिस लोडिंग ऑफ हंड्रेड न्यूटन लेट मी जस्ट मेक इट ओवर हिया हंड्रेड न्यूटन सो दिस ऑल्सो इज इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड दैट्स वाई यू नीड टू पुट अ नेगेटिव साइन हेयर इट इज नो स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू वॉच यू ऑलरेडी नो वॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ ए बी इज हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फोर सेवन यू नीड टू पुट दैट इन टू दिस इक्वेशन एंड देन सिंपली सॉल्व फॉर एफ बी ई वेन यू डू दैट दिस इज वॉट यू गेट एफ बी ईज वैल्यू विल वर्क आउट एज सिंपली जीरो एंड वेन यू पुट दैट जीरो वैल्यू इन टू दिस इक्वेशन ओवर हिया इन टू इक्वेशन वन यू आर गो टू गेट दी वैल्यू ऑफ एफ बी ई एफ बी ई विल ऑटोमेटिकली एफ बी ई ना 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 डेड आई से समथिंग रॉन्ग डेड आई से समथिंग रॉन्ग वन सेक On solving this equation, you are going to get the value of f b e. Yes, this is zero. And when you put this value of zero over here, so zero multiplied by cos sixty is zero. So f b c plus zero is this much. So f b c will be equal to this much. It's very simple. That's exactly what I've done. Let me erase all this stuff. So now you can simply write that then since the figure is symmetrical, therefore the forces in members a b will be equal to the force in member cd the force in member be will be equal to ce the force in member ae is equal to force in member de simply by symmetry this can be written down no problem it's very very fair no issues if still you want to work out the a joint you can go ahead and do that by the way the answer is over okay you have to work out the forces you have worked out the forces no problem you can stop over here but if you still want you can do a very quick analysis of joint at e Let's do this, right? What are we going to do? Summation f x zero. Okay, so uh, you see this. Um, let me put this in the. Okay. Okay. What is this? Let me do this orally. F D. The cos component of F C E will be to the right. F C E cos sixty. To the left we have F A E, and the cos component of F B E will be over to this side. F B E cos sixty. So let me put it this way. Okay. F D is positive. You can see this. Yes sir. F A E is negative. You can see this. Yes sir. Thirdly. F C E cos sixty will be over to this side, that is positive, and F B E cos sixty will be to the left. That's why a negative sign. So, all the terms, right, have been taken. You simply need to solve this. Okay, here it is. So I've put the value of F D E. Okay, here it is. F D E is equal to F A E. You can see this. So F A E is fifty seven point seven three. That's why. F D E's value is also fifty seven point seven three. Secondly, you have F C E. F C E is equal to F B E. F C E is equal to F B E. So, uh, do we have the? Sorry, F C E is something that we can actually calculate. Although I have already told you that F C E will be equal to F B E, right? And how much is F B E? How much is F B? Here it is. It is zero. So again, it will work out as zero. I was just giving you an example. You can also go for joint E for further calculation. Although you can stop right here. There is no need to analyze joint E further, right? Okay. So here I have kept F C E and B E as the unknowns. And if you watch these two, fifty-seven point seven threes will cancel each other out. So you are basically left with this much. F C E is equal to F B E is equal to zero. The reason being very simple. From this equation, you will get this. On solving this equation over here, you will reach this conclusion. F C E is equal to F B E, and already you know that F B E is equal to zero. Okay, so just plug in the value of F B E equal to zero. So if F B E is equal to zero, and since B E is equal to C E, F C E will also be equal to zero. So this way, you can calculate the force in the members. right again let me reiterate you can stop right here you need not go further right now once you've calculated the forces all the positive forces you can write them down over here right as you can see let me just show this to you 50 ae 
ae here it is it's a positive force right so simply write 57.73 and since it worked out as positive so you will write t that means the member will be under tension secondly let's talk about fab it is negative so in place of fab we'll simply write the magnitude and since it worked out as negative that means the member will be under compression we'll, we'll be explaining how all of these things work out just wait okay so ab and this compression done thirdly if you watch let's talk about cd 115.47 cd 115.47 since this was negative therefore we wrote compression so this is how you can prepare this entire chart okay if you really want to understand how these members because we are analyzing the forces at joints and here the table that we're preparing is all about the members member ab member bc let me talk about first of all this member de where is de d and e okay watch it's a very interesting case right so i'll make the free body diagram of the joint joint and the member in between okay so uh, here is the joint with yellow color here is the joint again yellow color inside what is this so this is e and this is d e that's d so listen to this point okay i'm sure you'll understand everything if you watch carefully at e we're talking about f d e where is f d e f d e here it is we're talking about f d e so uh the answer of f d e was positive okay f d e was positive where is it where is it f d e is positive 57.73 agreed sir that means the direction that we assumed was correct okay that's one way of looking at it here it is fd this way and this way okay sir what is this fde agreed this is now in between these two joints e and d e and d we have the member which i initially made with green color so let me make the member over here very small but still we are going to make it okay still smaller smaller let's say that the member is only this much big all right for the entire system to stay in equilibrium this force should be this force on the joint should be equal to the force over here okay and the magnitude will be same as f d right so to counter this force on the joint we need another force on this member and this force will be towards the right this one is towards the left this one will be towards the right and it is going to have the same magnitude as f d e now you can clearly see that this force over here or this member what is the name of the member sir the member is ed member is ed is clearly under tension now i'm sure you've understood that whenever at the joint if you get a positive value that means in the member you will have a case of tension understand this very very carefully okay that's one way now let's take a member now which worked out as mm, negative okay since ab worked out as negative because compression is written over here so how does how come it will, will it be compression ab ab worked out as negative 115.47 so we took this direction students fab's direction was this way and we got a value of negative 115.47 that means the direction should have been downwards downwards towards the joint not away from the joint but towards the joint towards the joint a or towards the joint b if you consider this member ab i hope you got this so we are going to exactly uh, make this force in a opposite sense here we go one more example take a look very interesting very very interesting so what shall i start with a joint okay uh, we need more space more more space Uh, and here also yellow color 
done done sir sir add the joint let's say this is a a and this one over here this is sir b absolutely so at a the direction of fab will be somewhere here and at b the direction of fab will be over here let me write this f a b and even here f a b now let's uh, create the member right green color mm, we need some space okay very nice watch again the entire system is in equilibrium okay <laughs> we are under this big banner of statics right all the bodies will stay or maintain its equilibrium so if uh, this is this is a right you can also say sir uh, as far as the member is concerned this is a and b on the member okay i've made the free body diagrams i have uh, separated the bodies from each other right so these two points actually coincide on the member if this if at the joint it is along this direction on the member it is going to be along this force ab will be along this direction agreed yes sir so let me write f ab over here in the same fashion if at the joint the force is in the upper direction sort of then at the member at this very point b the force will be somewhere along this direction right and you can simply write f a b over here what can you sense now what can you sense this member you can clearly see that f a b is pushing on it from both the sides which clearly indicates that the member will be under compression so this is exactly how we work out the members are in tension and the members are in compression so you don't have to do this exercise again and again you can simply say that initially i have assumed all the forces okay to be to be away from the joints so if my answer is positive i will simply say if my answer is positive i'll simply say the member is in tension if the value of force which i have got is negative then i'll simply say that the member corresponding to that okay will be under compression that's the way of going about your task and you finally need to make this diagram be it a problem based on method of joints or method of sections you always must let me emphasize you always must create this table is this clear to everyone thank you very much good day